again, Rail fans, and welcome back to another video. We begin this month's montage of quick catches on April 6th, 2021, and we are located at CP Kyle on the CSX Scott's Long Secondary. We came out today to catch the nightly CSX Q147 as it makes its way to North Baltimore. Unfortunately, though, I misread all the information I was given on this train and thought a four axle Jeep was leading this train, but unfortunately, it was your typical power of ES-44s, but there was a nice horn equipped on the leading ES-40DC on this train this day. After seeing the Q147, we jump ahead 24 hours to the next day on April 7th, 2021, and we are located at McCord Park, which is in Worthington, Ohio, conveniently next to the Norfolk Southern Sandusky District. The primary reason we came out on this day is because NS1072, the Illinois Terminal Heritage Unit, was leading 29G on this day. Unfortunately, we did not get to see that train but we did get to see a couple of other trains as a result of this botched heritage unit catch. So let's see what they are. We didn't have to wait too terribly long since we got there because there was already a northbound train on its way, which I have reason to believe is Norfolk Southern 178 heading to Bellevue, Ohio after originating in Irondale, Alabama.
chunk of time has passed since 178 cleared till our next and final train came into view, which was Norfolk Southern Southbound Manifest Train 18M, originating out of Elkhart, Indiana, bound for Crew, Virginia. He'll stop in Watkins Yard later on in his trip to pick up and drop off cars. Once again, we jump to the very next day on April 8th, 2021, and we are located just across the street from the Central Ohio Model Railroad Club. On this particular day, it was the weekly operating session day that we can come over to the Central Ohio Model Railroad Club to run our model trains. Shortly after we got there, I was waiting for some of the other members to show up and hopefully catch a train or two before going inside to run my model trains. As I was waiting for some of the other members to show up, a Norfolk Southern southbound grain train, which I have reason to believe is 42G, makes its way down the Sandusky District. Right before the operating session began, a Norfolk Southern northbound loaded coal train makes its way up the Sandusky district. And as you're hearing, the engineer on this coal train was really putting the locomotives through their paces to lug this heavy load of coal up a slight incline.
Well, that was interesting to witness. As I was taking a break from running my model trains on this day, I went back outside to see if there were any more trains coming. And little did I know that me and some of the other club members that were outside were about to witness something really good, which was a CSX northbound grain train heading up the Columbus Line subdivision, a.k.a. the Burt Line. The reason why regular trains on the Burt Line are so special now these days is because they're not as common as they used to be. As of right now in 2021, Y222, which is the beer plant switcher, typically has the entire line to himself, so I thought this was a pretty good catch. Anyways, let's move on to the next clip, shall we? After seeing the grain train go up the Burt Line, we then moved to just nearly a week later on April 13th, 2021, and we are located at the Cook Road River Crossing. The particular reason why we came out on this day was because a rare Canadian National SD70 M-2 was leading NS19M up to Elkhart, Indiana on this particular day. Unfortunately though, when we got to Cook Road, that train was long gone, so as you can probably tell, these rail fanning outings that we take on a regular basis, they fail a lot more than what you see throughout our YouTube videos though. However, when we got to Cook Road, there was already a train sitting by the railroad crossing, which happened to be a very late NS-234 originating out of Chicago, Illinois, bound for Norfolk, Virginia. And at this particular time, when we got there, he was just coming off of a crew change, because PTI Transportation had just gave him a new crew, and they were almost ready to go to continue their way down to Norfolk. As 234 continued to idle away, Awaiting clearance from dispatch to continue his way south, I saw a big object looming in the distance on the CSX Burt line, and I later realized that it was actually a northbound train heading our way, and soon enough, the old New York Central signals lit up, and the train soon went across the crossing, which happened to be CSX Y222, the beer plant switcher heading to the Budweiser plant in Worthington, with a very familiar face pulling the train long hood forward. Unfortunately though, this shot didn't turn out as well as I was hoping because I was on the side of the railroad tracks that the sun wasn't on, so basically my shot ended up being backlit as the train passed. I usually try to stay as optimistic as I can, but to be perfectly honest, it's kind of hard to watch this because of the sun making it so backlit, so yeah. The locomotive that was assigned to take Y222 on this day was none other than CSX SD70 AC number 4814. Now I wasn't planning on catching this because I absolutely had no idea that this train was even coming and that if 4814 was even on this train, so I thought it was a pretty good catch despite the fact that the video that I took ended up being very backlit. I'm also trying to catch this locomotive as much as I can because CSX doesn't have very many of their SD70 ACs in their as-delivered state still in active service, so if you see 4814 or any other unrebuilt SD70 ACs in your area, try to catch them because their days are numbered. After seeing 4814 once again, we then moved 24 hours into the next day on April 14th, 2021, and we are located next to Interstate 270, which goes across NS's Dayton District. Remember when we tried to catch NS 1072 towards the beginning of the video? Well, that's the reason why we came out this time around, because he was on a different train, which happened to be NS 171, and we were hoping to actually catch it this time. We didn't have to wait too terribly long since we got there because the signal was already green, and about 10 to 15 minutes later, 171 makes his way westward, traveling down the Dayton District bound for Chattanooga, Tennessee, with the Grinch trailing second sandwiched between two C44-9Ws.
After finally catching the Grinch, we then move a couple of days later on to April 16th, 2021, and we are located next to the CSX Scott's Long Secondary in Amelin, Ohio. There really isn't much to Amelin because I guess you could say it's pretty much a square mile suburb that's in between Dublin and Hilliard, but that's besides the point. The point is, we came out on this day to catch CSX 3440, the Spirit of Ravenna, which was leading Q147 on this day. The wait on this train didn't really last long, about 15 to 20 minutes, because after that time frame, Q147 raced his way through Amelin on his way to North Baltimore, with the Spirit of Ravenna leading the way, with a friendly crew aboard as well. After seeing 3440, we then move five days later onto April 21st, 2021, and we are located at the Leap Road River Crossing, which is in Hilliard, Ohio, but still on the CSX Scott's Long Secondary. Just like last time, we came out for the nightly CSX Q147 as it makes its run to North Baltimore, with an interesting pair of locomotives pulling the train this time around. The CSX Spirit of West Virginia, which also happens to be the number one locomotive on CSX, Literally, it's the number one locomotive on CSX. Also, a CSX ST70AH was accompanying the number one this time around. After some time of waiting and shifting around of locations, CSX Q147 smokes his way out of Buckeye Yard on his way to North Baltimore, with the dynamic duo of locomotives on the train, the number one in charge and the ST70AH trailing behind it. As the number one's train was disappearing into the darkening skies, this will now conclude yet another video. Hit the like button down below, leave a comment and tell me what you think of it, subscribe to my channel, and tap the bell button to be notified when I get a new video out. Thank you for watching, this is All Ohio Rail Fan, signing out.